Shabbat Shalom, dear friends. Shabbat Shalom. Nice to be with you again. We just finished Param. This is Shabbat Para. This is Shabbat Kitisa. What is Shabbat Para? Shabbat Para is the announcement that we need to get both in the Maftir and the Haftarah ready for Pesach. We just finished Purim. Shabbat Para comes to tell us Pesach is three weeks away. Just finished Purim. Now we're Jewish. We're getting ready for Passover. In that spirit, let me share with you one of my most favorite midrashim about Passover. Really says a lot about Judaism and really says a lot about where we are now in the middle of the pandemic. This midrash is from Shira Shirim Rabbah. It is taught in the school of Rabbi Ishmael. To what may Israel be compared when leaving Egypt? To a dove who fled from a hawk and was about to enter a cleft in a rock when it came upon a snake that was resting in the cleft of the rock. If the dove enters the cleft, the snake will hiss at the dove in a very threatening way. If it turns back away from the cleft, the hawk stands outside ready to seize the little dove. What did the dove do? It began to cry and beat its wings so the owner of the dove coat would come and deliver it. And so it is compared to Israel. Israel at the Red Sea was in a similar plight. They would go down into the sea, but the sea had not yet split. Nor could they go back because Pharaoh had already drawn near. What did they do? They were sore afraid and the children of Israel cried out to the Holy One. And at once, the Holy One, blessed be he, delivered them that day. This little bird, it's in a difficult place. On the one hand, it's running away from the hawk. And on the other hand, if it goes to safety in the cleft of the rock, it will be bitten, captured by the snake. And what does it do? It cries out to the owner of the dovecoat. Was the bird helpless? Apparently, it only felt it was helpless. Because as soon as it cried out, the dove, the owner of the dovecoat came and saved it. So too with Israel. When it was before the Red Sea, when it was fleeing Egypt, it was in a tight space. It felt the narrowness. It felt the difficulty. But was it hopeless? No. As soon as it cried out to God, God came and saved the ancient Israelites. The helplessness was only apparent. It seems to me that during this difficult moment of COVID, when we're all feeling the pressure of the pandemic, we often feel isolated. We often feel alone, but we're really not. We are part of something bigger. We are part of a community. We are part of the Jewish center. We are part of the entire Jewish people. We are part of a relationship with God. We are not alone. We are certainly not alone at this time when we feel the kindnesses that the Jewish Center has provided for others, reaching out. I've been watching all of the emails about helping people find places to go to get their COVID vaccinations. It's really been heartwarming. Let me share with you one story. Many of you know that in my previous position, I traveled a lot and I would go to many places, often be picked up by a rabbi at the airport. I have to tell you once I was in the West Coast and I was picked up by a rabbi and on the way to the synagogue, he said, hold on a moment, I need to pay a hospital visit. Here I am after my five, six hour flight, I'm tired. And the rabbi says, uh-uh, 
hold on, I need a form of kindness here. So on the way to his synagogue, he stops, pays a visit to the hospital. When he comes out, I say to him, what are you doing? What happened here? This rabbi whose name happened to be Baruch told to me the following story. He said, I'm an Auschwitz survivor. I was in Auschwitz for over a thousand days. And while I was there, many people gave me small kindnesses in many different ways. It's why I survived. I want to repay them, but I cannot repay them because they are gone. So every day I find a way to spread kindness in the world to someone, often to someone I don't know, and often to someone who can never pay me back. Dear friends, this Shabbat, sometimes we may feel we are caught between a rock and a hard place, between a hawk and a snake, but know that we are never alone. There are people out there who when asked, sometimes even when they are not asked, will be providing a kindness to us. And so what do we learn? We learn that this is our opportunity to be, continue to provide kindnesses to others. Shabbat Shalom.